Hi there, welcome to my channel. What I have here today is a really useful accessory for my 27 inch iMac, but this thing is actually universal and it's pretty much something that's perfect for any space saving workstation or computer setup. And in all honesty, this is something that I did not know that I needed till I actually got one. This is the new wave screen bar light from Amazon. And as of the upload date of this video, it goes for $39.99. But I checked the listing a few minutes ago and there's currently a $10 off coupon. So it's $29.99. So I mentioned this is a screen bar light, but I've also heard or seen other listings call this a monitor lamp too. So let's open this up and wow, that was actually really smooth and it just slides right out. That was strangely pleasant, <laughs> but as we can see this light bar, I'm just going to call it a light bar instead of a bar light because it just sounds so much better that way. It's not too big. It's actually meant to be space saving as mentioned earlier and could ultimately replace a huge desk lamp that many of us probably have on our desk. In addition to a space saving design, one of the biggest features of this sort of lamp is that it actually provides eye protection. And I'll get into that later when I demo this thing. But if you're in front of a computer screen all day, either for work or leisure, eye protection is really important. And when you get to my age, you start to feel the pain in your eyes and vision, and it just gets worse and worse as each year goes by. And you start getting migraines as well too. But back to the lamp. So the unboxing is really simple. Besides the lamp itself, what we have here is some documentation. And this looks like, yes, it is a micro USB cable cable. Kind of unfortunate that it's not a USB-C, but I don't think it really matters because this thing has to stay plugged in. It requires a power source to work, such as an available USB port on your computer, even a power bank. You can even just connect it to a little power brick and plug it into an outlet. So in short, it's not a rechargeable light. So really simple instructions just shows you how to mount it onto a monitor and shows you how to turn it on and turn it off and all of that good stuff. But let's get a better look at the LED lights. There are actually 84 LED light beads and when turned on there are three different adjustable brightness and color temperature settings those settings are cold natural and warm and after choosing that setting when you hold down the touch sensor bar on top that's how you adjust the brightness. So with that said, the best feature of the new wave brand light bar is that it's not like most of the other light bars or monitor lamps on Amazon, where it uses a traditional spring loaded clamp. This has a no pinch screen design as stated on the listing. And in short, it uses a counterweight to hook onto your monitor or laptop screen. So the counterweight is on the bottom of the lamp. You can see me flicking that thing over and over again so it hooks onto your computer nice and securely so if you're like me and you worry about the condition of your mac and you know you don't want scratches or dings on it this is the sort of lamp that you should check out since it won't clamp onto your display via traditional springs or even a tightening screw mechanism so when i get this installed i'll show off the side profile and you'll see that there's actually a nice amount of distance between the lamp and your display and for those spec nerds the actual dimensions are 15.74 inches by 5.07 inches and the actual lamp itself so that whole squared rectangle area where the light comes from is 1.37 inches so with all of that said let's get this on a monitor and see how it works so i'll be showing this off on a 24 inch monitor just to kind of show off the side profile so i can turn this to the side because if I tried to put it on my iMac it's just a hassle because it's in its nook as well as a laptop you can see a laptop off to the left and that's what the screen is actually extending is the laptop to the left and then lastly I'll attach it to the 27 inch iMac which is off to the right over there and you know I don't have to pull it out of the nook so we'll show off the profile and everything on this one so let's get started to install this is really easy I mentioned earlier that this isn't really spring loaded this is more of a counterweight so compared to the other Amazon listings where it's like a spring or even a tightening screw method. So if I didn't show this off earlier, this is just all rubber. This is rubber as well too. And this is just a little plastic piece. So I'm gonna turn this to the side. So all you really have to do is pull this counterweight down and everything's rubberized. So get it to the angle that you want, place it on the back of the monitor, get this plastic piece onto the front of the monitor and it just attaches just like that. It's really simple. So let me just turn the angle. So I mentioned earlier that this is USB powered and it's not rechargeable. So all you have to do for that part, I'm gonna take it off just to show it off real quick. There's a little USB port right there. Yeah. To actually get it turned on, there's a big old button. It's actually a, a touch control button. So hold it down for the brightness, tap for whatever color temperature you wanna to set to. So we got that. So the light bar is right here on the top. So let's get it plugged in. I'm just gonna plug it into my laptop's USB port right there. So another cool thing about this lamp is that it can actually be angled 180 degrees so it can face you straight on just like that. 
you can have it down at 90 degrees or for some weird reason if you want it facing the computer if you want to just store it that way i guess you can have it face down the computer too and here is the moment of truth press the spin turn on and it's actually set to the warm mode right now so let me turn off a few of my led lights so we can see this just a little bit better so a traditional lamp would cause a lot of glare, but this lamp doesn't show or reflect any glaring on my monitor screen. Whenever I have a light on or my phone, whatever's near it, everything just reflects off of it. This light doesn't glare onto the screen in any way whatsoever. So it starts off with warm. Let's go through the temperature color cycle. I believe that's cool. And this one is natural. So off, warm, cool, natural. So we'll leave it on natural for now. So you can see the keyboard. Good thing I have a white keyboard. You can actually see how well it illuminates everything. So the button's up here where my finger is. If you just hold it down, that's how you adjust the brightness. That's all the way dim, like 20%. Hold it down. That's 100%. Let me just raise this up just a little bit more so you can actually see my finger touching the button. Hold it down. Goes down to about 20%. Hold it down and back to 100%. Let's try that with the warm setting. That's 20% on warm. That's 100% on warm. Here's the cool setting 20% on cool, 100% on cool. Back to natural. There it is. I'm just going to transfer this over to the laptop. It's a little bit longer than the length of my laptop screen. So it looks a little silly, but if you have a bigger laptop, it shouldn't look too bad. All the functions work, never unplugged it. So that's what it looks like on a 15 inch laptop. And finally, I know this is what a lot of you are here for. I'm gonna move this to a 27 inch iMac. So there it is on top of the 27 inch iMac. I have it plugged into a USB hub connected to the iMac. So power shouldn't be an issue. Let's get it turned on. And there you have it. Let me get a couple of these lights turned off and actually let me lower the brightness on my screen just a little bit. Actually, a lot of it. I just lowered the brightness all the way. So in my room, I have blackout curtains and everything's just pitch black. And all of the light you see is obviously coming from the computer screen and the light bar itself. So let's go through all the settings real quick. There's the cool setting. It lights up my desk nicely. You can see my Demon Slayer desk mat right here. And my keyboard and my mouse, everything's lit up. My knife showing over there. Here is the natural setting. So I'm a migraine sufferer and light sensitivity is a huge battle that I struggle with almost on a daily basis. And this light right here has helped me so much in the day or two that I've had it, especially in comparison to my old lamp, which is right here. It's just a traditional fluorescent light desk lamp. And these fluorescent lights aren't the best for people who have migraines, especially if they have a light sensitivity. But I hope that this light alleviates that over time because so far I've enjoyed working with it and you know using it for the past day or two to edit videos. It's made my workstation a little bit more tolerable because I have a lot of sensitivity to light. So that's why I ultimately picked this thing up right there. And for those wondering, but that cutout right there where the plastic pieces are for the light doesn't cover the built-in camera for my laptop or my desktop. So if I wanna use my FaceTime HD camera on the iMac, and I kind of just want to have the light on me. Just tilt this up. And you can have some really good lighting for a video, conference call, whatever it is. So if anything happens to this light, if it causes or triggers one of my migraines, or if it starts malfunctioning, I'll make sure to make an update video for this light. But for those interested, I'll leave a link down below in the video's description and you all can check it out there. But other than that, thank you so much for spending a part of your day with me. It really does mean a lot. So if you like this video or enjoyed it in any way, feel free to check out these others and they've probably popped up all around my hand by now. And if you really liked hanging out with me today, please consider subscribing to be the first to know when I upload something new. I'll see you all soon. Please stay safe out there.